So according to DTube, I haven't recorded a video for eight weeks, two months, which I find kind of staggering seeing as I'm always doing stuff with video and then I'm not recording video on my own. Kind of weird. Um, so according to DTube, I haven't recorded a video for eight weeks, two months, which I find kind of staggering seeing as I'm always doing stuff with So I wanted to do a quick video today, mainly to talk about the DAO, which is a new feature at, um, at DTube. For those people who've never used a DAO or heard of the word DAO before, D-A-O, uh, I know it as Decentralized Autonomous Organization. I maybe have got one of those words wrong, but that's what I know it as in my head. That's where my head goes to straight away. And I looked at um, Decentralized Organizations probably about four years ago because I was very keen in using Ethereum and I can't remember the name of the platform, but it began with an A. It wasn't Anchor. It was something like that because I really liked the idea of a decentralized company in the cloud. So instead of you just being attached to a country and setting up a business account and business books and finances and accounts and everything to do with the country that you live in, or the domicile that you live in, um, having this company global. And that's not to say that you can't have a UK office and run a global company. Obviously you have to have bank accounts in other countries and you have to make sure that you've got taxes, all that stuff like linked up. But I was more interested in the idea of workers around the world world without having to deal with red tape and, you know, just the speed of it. Having somebody who worked for local authority in my life at some point, things are slow and they haven't really got that much faster. So I kind of like the idea of decentralized autonomous organizations. One, because I really like the idea of voting. I like the idea of using like hardware, like ledgers to be able to like sign those things so you know they're secure. And I just like the mathematical side to it. I, be I believe that, you know, 10 people strong company in a decentralized cloud platform could do f fast work, you know? The only time when it gets weird is when Obviously, if you're dealing with digital currencies and cryptocurrencies, you, you have to take that money out, change it into fiat, and pay people locally and stuff like that. That's when it gets all messy and, and problematic. But I really like the idea of the, the, the technology. So the way the DTube one works is that it uses the Avalon blockchain, which is an open source project, an open source blockchain that was built out of a necessity for a different kind of blockchain from one that they were using before which was steam which went on to be hive and it catered very much for video and so this DAO has been built by one of the leaders called tech coder x and uh, i think it was funded by hyman danger which is the the guy who wrote avalon in the first place it's been obviously people have added to it mainly tech coder actually but um, the DAO, the way it works on Avalon is it writes these like consensus votes, if you like, currently from the leaders. I'm not sure if it's outside of the leaders, but I guess it is. I guess the leaders have to vote on a proposal and then other people can add money to it. I'm not sure. I need to go into this as well. You're going to be learning with me at the same time. But I did my first signing this morning on proposal one. And that proposal is somebody wants to build a app for a standalone community called Clean Planet. And what they do is you know, obviously run a Cleaner Planet initiative where get people to pick stuff up, record it on video, and then you probably get an up upvote for doing so. So it's kind of an incentivized thing. A bit like these walking apps that you see, like Steppen, which is doing incredibly well. You have to spend some money on a NFT to be able to then do certain stuff with it. So, Today I did the vote, I did the vote of yes, let's get it going, let's see how this works. And um, I'm quite excited about it because I feel like this is probably going to motivate me more to make proper videos or demystify them or make lots of different styles of videos 
for different levels of learning. I think one of the things that's missing from the internet is, I, I kind of use this analogy of like Wimbledon, right? So Wimbledon, they've got hundreds of cameras set up all, all around, like the net and back up high up and all over the place. And I think we need video content in the same way to describe these things for different people at different stages of their digital journey, wherever they may be. Maybe they're not very confident with technology. They want the actual element of it, but they, they're not confident with the rest of it. Or you're a beginner or you're intermediate or you're a really hardcore coder and you know all this sort of stuff and you know all the proposals and you know about signing keys and you just want to get to the good stuff. So I feel like I feel like I'm a pretty good communicator when I'm focused on something. And so I feel like being incentivized by this DAO, as in I put in a proposal and say I'm going to do X, Y, Z videos. And instead of it being with my personality or my opinion or my bias, um, I was thinking earlier on today, maybe I could just build this out and get an AI to do it instead of me being the face of it. You've seen these AI like bots that you just feed a transcript to and they just like recite it. There's TikTok accounts with people doing this now. And so I was thinking that maybe I could do something like that. Maybe I could do videos where people on DTube feed back to me of what should be in the video and then we bounce those things back and forth. Uh, maybe I put the text out or maybe I put a video up and then people can say, cut this bit out, leave that bit in. This could be enhanced. And then we put it into the AI bot and it spits out a perfect version from lots of other people's input instead of it just being my opinion. Because there's always bits missing in bits of content and you always find people in the comments on YouTube. This was shit or you didn't say this properly or this is what it should mean. So like trying to trying to get all that stuff together and marinate it into something a little bit more mature, I guess. So I'm kind of excited to see where the DAO goes. I mean, it's uh, it's very, very new. And uh, there was a recent hard fork of um, DTube's code to allow for this DAO. Uh, there was also some other things in there. I think one of it was burning a certain amount of uh, DTC as well from an account. Uh, the leaders have been shuffling about. I think it's still the top 15 of which I'm very thankful to be one of them and uh, and to be in consensus. Um, but I feel more motivated to be more into uh, the platform as well now because being part of the DAO makes you feel part of a bigger group. Like it feels in some way another binding layer between each other, like being able to put proposals together or even suggestions of like features that you would like to see in the platform that don't exist already and then voting on them. More than anything, even if those things don't get voted through, it's a dialogue, a digital dialogue. There's like levels to it instead of it just being what I see at the minute, which is just like loads of programmable spam accounts just posting any old rubbish and probably other people's stuff from YouTube that, you know, those people don't even know it's happening and people collecting DTC on that. I think, I think the platform and the technology and the protocol is way bigger than where it's at right now. And I've been waiting for something to change not just people to change or people to move on or, or new people to come in. I've been waiting for something to change on the platform. I think this is it. It's funny because the, the thing that motivated me to do this video was one front end change, which was just seeing the price of DTC. Weird, just a small little thing. And it's funny how these incremental changes can motivate you to, to interact and be part of it a bit more. So yeah, I'll be going on a bit of a DAO journey the next video I do, it'll be a little bit of uh, discovery and what I found and how that proposal goes. And then potentially submitting my own proposals for educational videos for people to why DTube. You know, not just all the technical things of do this, do that, or vote this in this time. This is how you make DTC. All that stuff has already been done to death. More like uh, while we're in a bear market, why these tools are important and will be important for the years to come and uh, why I should get in now on the ground floor. What's going on with this shot? I feel like there's something up here. Maybe it's just on the screen, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna leave it there anyway. I will uh, I'll catch up with So according to DTube, this might be. All right, I'll catch up with you soon.